If you're anything like me, you might have found the last Toyota 86 to be a bit of a disappointment. Not because it was bad, it was a brilliant car to drive, a whole lot of fun, but because after it debuted originally as the Scion FRS, it never really changed. It was the same thing. With this new second generation, Toyota is doing something more, handing the car over to its experts at Gazoo Racing and crafting a more powerful, more invigorating rear drive sport coupe. Toyota is not being entirely transparent about what Gazoo Racing touched on this car, aside from saying that it received rigorous track testing. But what we do know is that the 2.4 liter engine is more powerful than last year's car. Power is up from 205 to 228, and torque is up from 156 to 184. Those don't sound like huge numbers, but the result is that in the manual transmission car, the Sprint to 60 now takes 6.1 seconds, almost a full tick of the clock faster than last year. And peak torque is available lower in the rev range. This is going to be a faster car, yes, but it's also going to be more drivable. And that kind of addresses one of our biggest issues with the last 86. We want more torque. It gave us more torque. Wonderful. Toyota didn't go crazy in restyling the 86 and adding the GR badge. Yes, you get this new badge on a new front fascia and a new overall platform. It's still a low and wide sports car. And to be entirely honest, with these new headlights, it kind of reminds us of a miniature Jaguar F-Type. That's no bad thing. If we come around to the side of the car, you get some inspiration from its big brother, the Supra, with this big old air vent here. We like that, they are functional, they actually serve a purpose. So do these new sills along the sides here. These are there for aerodynamics and they are functional. They actually do help the car cut through the air. Out back though is my favorite detail. You get this massive spoiler. Yes, this is another touch from the Supra. It looks good. I like the GR badge here. I like that it is on the trunk instead of on the bumper like it is on the Supra. That is good positioning. Overall, this is a better looking vehicle. Toyota restyled the GR86's cabin with a focus on passenger comfort, but also maintaining driver fun. These seats are fantastic, and on this premium model, they have a lovely Alcantara finish. The steering wheel is tiny and tight, and this is great to grip, and you get this wonderful leather finish. There are paddle shifters on this model, and they are attached to a six-speed automatic transmission, which is not the driver's choice. There's a six-speed manual available, and that is the one that we would have. But Either way, you're going to have a great view out the front and a really excellent driving position. Material quality is so-so. That was never the 86's strong point. It's not the strong point here. There's a fair amount of plastic, but that's okay. This is a driver's car, and from that perspective, it ticks the right boxes. We like some of the small details, too. I love that there's a little GR badge on the start-stop button. One of the drawbacks of the last 86 was that the cabin technology experience was never quite what it should be. Toyota seems to have addressed that. We have a new infotainment system. This does not appear to be a Toyota system, but it looks pretty good and it's on a good size screen. I really love the instrument cluster though, because you have this beautiful digital tachometer and digital speedo right front and center, right where you want it to be. That is good for driving. And these awesome buttons down here for the stability control and driving modes, they're in the right place. You can just tap down from memory. It's very easy to learn and get your hands back on the steering wheel. This is a better cabin overall and one we're really excited to explore more. Toyota hasn't announced pricing on the GR86 yet, but we expect it to broadly mirror the current 86 when it goes on sale later this year. That means starting around $27,000. But what's clear is that Toyota has made some substantial changes to this car that should make it more fun and more engaging. Most importantly, they've left the door open for doing even more in the future. We can't wait to see how Gazoo Racing's involvement evolves on the 86. For more on this car and all other sports cars, be sure to check out MotorOne.com and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, and wherever else you get your social media.